Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before here, bring you guys another chill kill zone Shadowfall multiplayer gameplay, and uh, we're still playing in domination. And also the video, th the video that I showed you guys yesterday, uh, that was actually the third time I used this weapon. So this time in this gameplay, it's actually my second time. So along the way, I was getting better with this weapon, and that's my story with this weapon. Like I barely used it, and I wasn't sure how I was gonna do with it, and I ended up doing good in three games. Which is pretty much rare because I really don't consider this game like a big deal and stuff. So, anyways, uh, will I do some strategies and tips like I said in the previous video? No, I don't think so. Killzone is just a chill game yeah. just to mess around and just to kill some time to the next FPS. So, um, and yeah, guys, I'm still asking this question. Is Sniper Elite 3 pretty good? Because I'm still not sure. I'm still like 50 50 with that. I'm not sure if I should buy it and show it here. If you guys want me to, I mean, I'll do it, but. I'm still not sure. I still need to see some gameplays about it because I haven't bought the second one. I haven't played the first one, so I don't understand that game. What's the hype about it? And of course, it's 49 bucks, but I'd rather buy it for 29.99 because I think that's how much is worth it. Since they're taking a bunch of weapons out of the games like Call of Duty, but it's except with snipers, so I'm not sure. You know, I'm not gonna compare it to Call of Duty. I'm just gonna say that I just need more things about this game to know about before I buy it for a full price. So anyways, moving on to our main topic today, guys, we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, my thoughts, what's going to be, uh, you know, what's going to be the first thing that I think about this game when I saw the trailer and stuff like that. Well, if you guys have been reading my Twitter, you've pretty much seen some of my thoughts about this game, and I pretty much want to circle this one, though. It's just a $60 skin pack. Now, the reason why I said that is because I think Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer games are kind of the same. They're pretty much the same. If you look at Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2, they're pretty much almost the same thing. Except for Modern Warfare 3 had terrible connection. They pretty much did. I admit it. I mean, I played Modern Warfare 3 for the whole year, and it had terrible connection. I even played it against some Europeans, which is, I don't know why is that possible, because we're supposed to be like in a region, you know, the U.S. versus the U.S., and that's it. I don't understand why I got to play against people from Japan and, you know, all these other places, so I never understood that. But, uh, but I think... You know, Sledgehammer games can ruin the Call of Duty series like so bad, so I don't know what to expect from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare at all. I really don't, because these two companies, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer games, are doing terrible right now. They're not even that cool. If we look at Treyarch, guys, Treyarch has been doing alright, you know, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1, and World at War were all hits. They all, like, came up with something new. Like Black Ops 2, they came up with the customization packs, you know, all these customization cool things, you know. It was pretty cool. But then this other game, Call of Duty Ghost, took advantage of it. And they're claiming that those kinds of things is cool for a game. Like, I don't think so. I think you guys should fix the mechanics and add more kill streaks than the bullshit that you gave us. I mean, come on, the SATCOM? There's a reason why they put the spy plans into the game. It's to find everybody at the, you know, like immediately. Like, everybody wants to freaking battle. Not sneak around and hide and play hide and go seek. Like, what the hell is that? That's what the SATCOM, you know, pretty much invented here. So let's put back the spy plane and let's find everybody out there and make the campers work for their camps. Which is true. If you go guys if you guys go back into Modern Warfare 3 in the previous Call of Duty guys, the spy plane was pretty much important. Because in big maps you're never gonna find anyone. And all you can do is run around and these guys are gonna just sit, just sit in the corner. That's what killed cut the Call of Duty series right now. That's what's killing it. Black Ops 2 survived because, you know, uh, of the freaking good style gameplays they were actually pretty good in the weapon mechanic system but the freaking uh the thing that really killed black ops was the the extra maps you know the dlc it wasn't that good and pretty much nine maps were repeated <laughs> I, I can't believe still big youtubers haven't discovered about that you know we we're, were pretty much you know stolen from so anyways um i don't know what to expect from call of duty advanced warfare but all i'm gonna say is this uh, Sledgehammer games can literally kill the series. I think they can. If we all can look like in Modern Warfare 3, it didn't have good connection at all. It didn't have good connection. I, I just I just can't trust them. But I'll still buy it. The reason why is because I want to show you guys how the game is before you guys buy it. So I want to tell you guys right now, like I said in the previous video, do not buy the Harden Edition or the Collector's Edition because you still don't know what kind of content is in it. And how we saw from Call of Duty Ghost. There was still a lot of content they're still selling that doesn't even come with a fucking collector's edition or the Harn edition. So think before you buy, guys. Just buy the regular game. Don't buy the Harn edition. I'm telling you right now, guys, it's a big warning. Do not 
buy stuff like that from these companies. I'll buy the regular one, guys. I'll sacrifice myself. But, uh, you know, you guys, you got to listen to me. Because I don't want you guys to be wasting money like that. So, anyways, guys, leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what's up. You guys want more kills on Shadowfall chill gameplays. Please let me know in the comment section. And leave a like. And tell me if Sniper Elite 3 is good. Because I still want to know about that. And it's still 50-50. So, see you guys later. And